All right, now that you got done changing the oil in your car, what are you going to do with those used filters? That's what we're going to talk about today. All right, before we get started, you need to know the laws and rules and regulations in the area you live. There are lots of places that uh, have special rules regarding this stuff, and so you need to make sure you know the laws in your area. Don't be going around saying, well, Big Dog told me I could do this. Nope, I'm telling you, make sure you know the laws in your area. All right, got a couple of unused oil filters here, brand new, just for demonstration purposes. Here in the U.S., the EPA, or Environmental Protection Agency, if I could say it right, they're the ones responsible for creating the rules, or issuing the rules, on how to discard these uh, engine oil filters once they're used. Now here in the U.S., used engine oil is considered hazardous waste. And if there's used engine oil in these filters, it's going to be considered the same thing, hazardous waste. But the EPA has issued a couple rules that say if you do some things to these, then, you know, are used ones, I mean, once you've done those things, then these used engine oil filters won't be considered hazardous waste anymore, or they'll be exempt. So let's go over a couple of those things. All right, there are several ways you can make these um, used filters exempt from the uh, regulations. Um, both of them involved hot draining. So the first method, and there are others, but I'll just mention the top two. The first me method is we puncture a hole in the top and then let it hot drain. Um, the second method is we crush it and also let it hot drain. All right, what is hot draining? Basically, hot draining is when you drain this oil at or near engine operating temperature, or at least above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, when you're doing a standard oil change, most manufacturers want you to bring the engine temperature up to operating temperature so that all the oil free flows out. So that's, uh, that's a standard procedure anyway, so in most cases, that's what you should be doing. And so once you get this nice and hot, that engine oil will come right out. So basically, after once we take this off and it's nice and hot, we're going to either crush it, and most people are not going to have an oil filter crusher. If you did, you probably not need, you don't need to watch this video because you already knew what to do. So you're going to crush it and let it drain for a minimum of 12 hours. 24 is better, but the EPA says it's got to be a minimum of 12. Or we puncture the top and then let it drain for the same thing. Minimum of 24, I'm sorry, minimum of 12, but 24 is better. And so those are the two number one ways of uh, making these so that they're exempt from those uh, regulations for being hazardous waste. Now one of the problems you'll run into when trying to puncture these is it's hot and it's coated with oil, so it slips all around. I mean, you could take a hammer and a nail and puncture it and uh, but it's not easy and it'll want to slide around and move around on you. I'll, uh, I'll cut in a section of video where I show another technique of how you can puncture these. Here's an easier way to do it. You take your filter and take a center punch and you can set it right on your drain pan and then just take use the center punch you can get these from Harbor Freight for cheap and just punch a hole or a couple holes right in there and then let it drain for 24 hours much easier, cleaner, and you don't smash your fingers with a hammer. I'll show it here, a demonstration on an actual used oil filter here in a second. Just take it, if I can do it one-handed. As you can see, I just punched it a couple times. Boom, there's a new hole. That'll allow the remaining oil to drain out. So there you go. A couple of dollars at Harbor Freight. It's much easier than trying to drive a nail through there. And now you're complying with the uh, environmental regulations. Just make sure you poke it through all the layers and you can see as soon as I poked it all the oil just came out of this one. All right now that you've punctured it and let it drain for 12 to 24 hours or crushed it um, now what do you do with it? Well in most places you can throw these away with normal trash and it can go in the landfill. However what's another alternative? What's something else we can do? Well there's a lot of steel in these things and a better option than throwing it in a landfill is recycling them and many places will um, recycle these once they've been drained and they're no longer considered hazardous. Now of course if um, you know if your local auto parts store or whatever will take these along with your used oil then by all means put them in a plastic bag wrap them up and bring them to whoever will take them and you don't have to do anything with it. 
but uh, many places don't like to do that and so recycle them, recycling them is definitely a great option and here in the US each year 160,000 tons of steel is used to make engine oil filters so that's a ton no pun intended of steel that could be recycled and used elsewhere and as you can see these three filters right here have been punctured and drained for 24 hours so they're ready to go well there you go hopefully after you've watched this video you're a little more educated on used engine oil filters and as always if the video helped you out or you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching